Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I've got this cute little project, just putting some light on, and it's a gorgeous little candle box with a gift tag. And the gift tag is using our vertical greetings stamp set. And then I've heat embossed um, with the vertical greetings stamp set this gorgeous tree image and a thank you sentiment and then inside the box it holds eight tea light candles so and then I've just used some what's it called seam binding pink seam binding ribbon so that's what we're going to make today I'm sorry I haven't been around for a bit but I have got all my children off school again for the um, week off school that they've had um, I'm just trying to fit this in while they're all playing so I'm using um, Fresh Fig, which is one of our new ink colours uh, at cardstock, and that measures 5 and one eighth by 9 and a half inches. And then on the long side, you want to score that at... Let me just move this a sec. On the long side, you want to score that at one inch, 4 and one eighth of an inch, 5 and one eighth of an inch, and eight and a half. And then on the short side, you want to score at one inches and four, and, and then I turn it around and just score at one again. Like that. So that's all the scoring. And for the tag piece, you want another piece which I've used Whisper White cardstock, and that measures two inches by three and a half inches and then I've just used our tag topper punch which is this and you just push that in and punch that down and that creates the tag Oops. so that's that and then for the box you want to fold and burnish all of your score lines I really really like this colour it just looks lovely with silver, I think. And obviously the new catalogue has gone live now, so any of these products that I'm using today, you can go over to my website and purchase any of them. On the long side, you're just gonna cut and notch up every single square that we've got. So there's three, and you're gonna do the same on either side. Cut and notch. Um, I'm going to pull all of them out. If you want to go over to my blog, um, the instructions for this project and some photos are on my blog, and that's Crafting with Danny One Eye. Blogspot. Com. I'll leave a link in the description bar, and there is a link from my blog to go directly to the shop as well and there's lots of other projects on there some projects I do that are quite quick and easy I don't always do a video so if you do see anything on there and you think you'd like to see the video to it just comment on it and I'll, I'll do a video so you can have either end of this as your front I'm going to use this one and we'll take our embossing buddy I think it's in this one Nope. Just one sec, I'll just get that and I'll be right back. Hi, I'm back. Sorry about that. I was just letting my daughter out the front door with a friend. So, you've got your embossing buddy. And I just want to wipe that all over the front. And then I'm using the tray. So, we're just going to take our Versamark ink. I haven't got an ink pad. Just a sec. And a block. So you're just going to take your block and your tray. I'm using that tray and we're going to use Thank You. Let's see if that will go on that block. I should have done that before. So the tray and then there's our box. So then we're going to stamp that onto our box, like that. Just a minute, honey. 
Just one minute. Mom. Just a sec. Mom. Right, I'm back. Sorry about that. That was another one of my daughters. <laughs> Try and get a video done. I thought it was all quiet. So you just want to ink up your sentiment and pop that on like that. And then you want to take your embossing powder, I'm using silver. And sprinkle that all over there. Like that. It looks fine. You could take a little bit more care than me. I'm just I just really wanted to get a video on today because it has been a week and I haven't done one and I didn't want anybody to think I'd disappeared. So you want to take your heat tool, if you want to turn me down a little bit. And then we'll just leave that to dry just for a sec or set. Then you're gonna take your tag and I'm just gonna use my stamping scrub just to clean these. Like that. Um, when we punched our tag, if you just wanted to take a corner rounder and just around the ends just think it makes it look a bit nicer and we're going to use fresh fig and ink up our stamp again fresh fig is the new in colour one off and then you just want to place it as best you can i'm just going to do it there and then ink up our sentiment which is the thank you i hope that's okay and then we'll leave that to dry and then we'll come back to our box so that should have dried and i'm quite low on this ink need to get an order in and then you just want to place some glue on all of the tabs like that Um, and the back one, the one with the image is the front, so it's the back one, you want to stick your tabs. Just hold it a minute just to let the Tombow set. And then you want to do that one as well. And then that one, just says this bottom part makes your box for your candles. Oops, like that, and then your lid. So you'll be left with these two pieces, and this will make your lid like that. And then, if you want to, you can just go over with your bone folder and just press in all the tabs. Like that. And then if I get some candles, these will be odd, but <clears throat> so we'll just pop some in. One, two, and that's four. And then we'll just get four more. We'll just pop so that's eight candles that it holds. And then, oh, I forgot my little. If you just want to take a small corner rounder and just punch out a little pull hole there. It does close. There we go, like that. And then our ribbon. I'm just going to use this one again. I think it's pink pirouette seam binding ribbon. 
me just check. Yeah, it's just that all I've got on, I'm placing my order on the six, so I'll have some of the new ribbons then. So you just want to make a bow. Which it's not going to go because I'm on camera. There we go. Not bad. Not bad, not great. Actually, I'm going to do it again. There, that's better. So I'm going to leave that like that. I'm just going to snip the ends off like that. And then the tag, you just want to take a bit of seam binding ribbon again, fold it in half, push it through. And pull the two ends through. Like that. And then cut the tops off. Like that. And then you just slide it through there. And all I did was just put some... I just put some diamantes in the corner, like that. What hair there? No, so I just put some diamantes on the edge like that, and that is our little candle gift box with a nice gift tag and some ribbon. So thank you so much for watching and thank you to everyone that has subscribed to me so far. I am still around, so if it does, you know, just get to a week and I haven't done a video, it is because my children are off school or something's come up, but I'm still here and I am still doing blog posts. So if you do want to go over and look at my blog, I'll leave the link below. Um, there's a gorgeous video um, blog post for this little bag and I've actually used tracing paper on this um, and it holds some tea light candles so thanks again for watching see you again next time bye